So in this box is a recently molted Honduran curly hair tarantula. I've been looking at a lot of molts recently so I thought this would be a good opportunity to use the molt in this box to show you guys how you can sex your tarantula. Okay guys, so uh, I'm just gonna talk through how you sex tarantulas. Uh, basically, it's, uh, it's really difficult, <laughs> um, unless they're in their ultimate molt, which means their final molt, in which case uh, male tarantulas will have tibial hooks um, on their front legs, which are designed to hold the female's uh, fangs out of the way when they're mating to stop the female being able to eat the male, and those, uh, those hooks are really easy to spot. Um, but before then, if you want to sex your tarantula, the only reliable way to do it is by looking at the molt. So um, basically, the first thing you need is a tarantula molt. So here is the Honduran curly hair that's just molted. Um, as you can see, it's uh, done that on a mat of webbing. They pretty much all do this um, molt on a mat. Um, I don't know why, but they just do. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so the new molt is on the left and we're going to look at that today um, and obviously the tarantula is on the right looking amazing and fresh. So, so um, yeah, I stupidly managed to take the uh, the molt out but rip the abdomen in half. The abdomen and the molt is the bit that's the most important because it lets you look at the sexual organs of the tarantula. Uh, so that was a bit of a dumb thing to do. But now I've taken both parts out, I'm hoping that there's still enough of the abdomen left to show you guys how we would sex the tarantula. So this piece of video is just to show you that I've put the malt into um, basically just a cup of water with some washing up liquid in it and what that does is it helps um, the malt to sink and absorb the water so that it gets soft and pliable because if it's crispy and dry then you won't be able to open it up. Everyone kind of agrees that the best way to sex a tarantula is to look at its malt uh, this is also called its exuvia, um, and basically that's the most definitive way to sex the tarantula. You essentially have to open up the molt um, where the bottom of the abdomen would be, um, and then examine it very closely, uh, and the top part of this um, is called the epigynum, and basically if this is smooth, then you've got a male tarantula, but if you find a uterus externus, or a spermatheca, then your tarantula is female. Uh, and an interesting fact is that different tarantula species have different spermatheca shapes, so depending on what species you have, it'll look slightly different, which adds an extra level of complication to the whole process. So there you have it, um, I've managed to spread the base of the abdomen out, um, I'm now going to look at the epigynum area. I'm kind of excited because it looks to me like there might be um, uh, there might be spermatheca there, which is really cool. So I'm going to try and get a really good photo and then we'll take a look in a minute. So there you have it guys, it turns out that after a long search I seem to have three male Honduran curly hairs, uh, one of whom is mature and thankfully this one seems to be a little girl. So breeding project is back on! 